Hello Reloaders and welcome back to the channel. This is the CS 7.1 build series and today we're going to be covering the assembly of the sorter module. Let's jump in. Alright, so we're looking at the list of parts for the sorter and we're going to start by checking the fit on the pull mount and the sorter base. So you want this to be a fairly tight fit. This one's a little looser than I would like it to be. But that's okay. We have a screw hole here that we can set a, a M3 set screw to tighten things up. Now if your bracket's a little bit tighter or too tight, you can take a little bit of sandpaper and just uh, sand these edges and that ought to loosen things up for you. So we'll set the pull mount to the side for now and we're going to install the motor on the sorter base. Now the orientation of the motor you got to pay attention to. You don't want this connector facing backwards or you won't be able to put your motor cable in at all. So I would face it forwards or to the side. So you can see backwards there's just no way you're going to get a cable in. So now we're going to take our M3 by 12 screws and I you'll see I have a couple washers here. I like to use those washers to give a better holding on this motor. In case it heats up you don't want those screws pulling through. So it should look something like this when you're done. Next we're going to install the motor flange. Let's make sure that the set screws are installed first. This will just be screwed down snugly to the sort pipe bracket. After that we're going to install the sort bracket onto the motor shaft. But first we want to back out these set screws and make sure we have good clearance. You will want to make sure one of the set screws is aligned with the flat side of the shaft. And you can tighten that down. I, I usually keep the height where the Allen screw is nearly level with the base of the sorter. Maybe just slightly above it. Now we're going to install the 8 slot ramp base which is an optional part but really helpful to guide the brass into your sorter buckets and you can see there's a recess on the bottom that matches the size of the sorter base so it should just press down right on top and those screw holes should be aligned those are going to be M5 by 20 screw holes so we're going to take the first screw and put it into the right screw hole well right when looking from this orientation Don't over torque this one and we don't want to put the left one in because the left one has to go through uh, a bracket. You just want to screw this one down until it's nice and snug. Now we're going to install our sort homing sensor bracket and the second M5 screw is what keeps this bracket in place. Before we do that we're going to put our homing sensor onto the bracket. You can see there's a recess in the bracket for the pins that hang out the bottom of the homing sensor. This is connected with M3 by 5 or um, anywhere in that range. Short M3 screws will be used to hold this one in place. Now we simply attach it to the base using uh, your M5 by 20, 25 will also work. This one you don't want to crush, uh, you don't want to crush that in too far or you will break the bracket. But it does need to be fairly snug as that's what holds the sorter bracket in place. So I'm just going to ease into this one and get it a little bit tighter each time and, until I get the tension I want. I want this to be fairly difficult to move but not so hard that I break the bracket. I need, I need to push this up against the sorter body so the metal arm is barely touching and then I will adjust it to where the click happens right when we're aligned with the slot. At this point it's time to install the sorter pipe and this pipe has two sides. One is beveled, one is not. The beveled side goes up and the pipe is held in place by two M3 set screws. 
It's important here to make sure that the pipe is in line with the bracket. Otherwise, as the sorter moves, your pipe becomes out of alignment. Now we're going to add the M3 by 20 screws on each side, and these are going to serve as a clamp for the sorter pipe. We want to be careful not to over tighten these. We only need to tighten them down enough to keep them in place. So we don't want to crush that tube. So once that's done, we're going to check once more that our homing is correct. And you can hear that click. We just want to move the tube so that it's aligned where, where the click is happening right when the tube is aligned with that first slot. If it's not quite right, we'll loosen up the bracket just a little bit so we can move it around. In this case, it was exactly where I wanted it, so I tightened the bracket down. Lastly, let's talk about the screws that we mount for the pull mount. These are M6 by 25, and I like to use the wing nuts. Makes them a little easier to tighten and loosen once they get on the pole. Finally, we add the pull mount into the sorter base bracket and we'll have to add a tension screw as the fit is pretty loose here. So the tension screw is just in like M3 by 10, uh, a short screw. I think an M3 by 7 would work as well. You don't want to tighten this down too far. Or you'll put a dent into the bracket and then when you're trying to adjust it's going to want to slip into that dent and it might not be the position you want it at. So just enough to where it's touching the surface and it doesn't slip. And that pretty much completes the build of the sorter. Thank you for watching.